Sniper Elite, also known as Sniper Elite Berlin 1945, is a third-person tactical shooter and stealth game developed by Rebellion Developments and released in 2005. The game, which features single-player and multiplayer modes, was published by Namco Home Tech and MC2 France in 2005 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2, Xbox, in 2010 by Reef Entertainment for Nintendo Wii, and in 2013 by MC2 MicroX for Mac OS. We play the game through the eyes of our main character, Carl Fairburn, an operative of the American Office of Strategic Services, who is also of German descent. Its purpose is to prevent German nuclear technology from falling into the hands of the Russians. Carl, sent to the operation by the commander of the American Army in Berlin, General George Patton, must successfully pass the missions and reach his goal. Sniper Elite V2 is a third-person tactical shooter and stealth game developed by Rebellion Developments and released in 2012. The game, which features single-player and multiplayer modes, was published by Rebellion Developments in 2012 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and 2013 for Nintendo Wii U. In Sniper Elite V2, Lieutenant Carl Fairburn is sent back to Berlin to prevent Soviet Russia from acquiring German nuclear technology in World War II. Wandering around the war-ravaged city, Fairburn discovers the deadly V-2 missile program. In order to reach his goal, Fairburn must complete his mission by fighting Russian and Nazi opponents. Sniper Elite Nazi Zombie Army, or simply Nazi Zombie Army, is a third-person tactical shooter and horror game developed by Rebellion Developments and released in 2013. Nazi Zombie Army, which features single-player and multiplayer modes, was released in 2013 by Rebellion Developments for Microsoft Windows. The game is a standalone extension, so you can play it without needing the original Sniper Elite V2. Seeing the defeat of the German army in the World War II, Adolf Hitler manages to bring dead Nazi soldiers back to life through various rituals and tries to send them against Karl Fairburn and his colleagues. The game gives us many missions that can be played with a team of four players. Nazi Zombie Army is a game that zombie lovers will love, with enough horror and excitement. Sniper Elite Nazi Zombie Army 2, or just simply Nazi Zombie Army 2, is a third-person tactical shooter and horror game developed by Rebellion Developments and released in 2013. Nazi Zombie Army 2, which features single-player and multiplayer modes, was published by Rebellion Developments only for Microsoft Windows. Like Nazi Zombie Army, this game is a standalone expansion, so you can play it without the original game. The two expansions are PC only, so you can't play them on consoles. In Nazi Zombie Army 2, the sequel to the first zombie game, players must find the fragments of the Cybermartha Relic. They need to control the zombies while facing newer and more deadly enemies. Sniper Elite 3 is a third-person tactical shooter and stealth game developed by Rebellion Developments and released in 2014. The game, which features single-player and multiplayer modes, was published by Rebellion Developments and 505 Games in 2014 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, in 2019 by Rebellion Developments for Nintendo Switch. In Sniper Elite 3, Carl Fairburn, sent on an operation to North Africa, is tasked with preventing the development of a new and devastating Nazi weapon. Carl's task is not only to eliminate enemy weapons, but also to collect enough information about the enemy. The beauty of the game, Desert in North Africa will make you want to play this game. Zombie Army Trilogy is a third-person tactical shooter and horror game developed by Rebellion Developments and released in 2015. 
The game, which features single-player and multiplayer modes, was published by Rebellion Developments in 2015 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and in 2020 for Nintendo Switch. Released as a spin-off series of Sniper Elite, the game includes three games, Nazi Zombie Army 1 and 2. The third game is only available in the Zombie Army Trilogy. In Zombie Army Trilogy, players fight in an alternate timeline during the last days of World War II, where they fight against Hitler's zombie army. As always, Carl Fairburn and his team throw themselves into the battlefield to save Europe from the zombie apocalypse. Who wouldn't want to play a zombie adventure that combines fantasy, horror, and mysticism? Sniper Elite 4 is a third-person tactical shooter and stealth game developed by Rebellion Developments and released in 2017. The game, which features single-player and multiplayer modes, was published by Rebellion Developments in 2017 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and 2020 for Stadia, Nintendo Switch. Taking place after the events of Sniper Elite 3, the game begins in 1943 when Carl Fairburn is sent to Italy to save the country from fascism. In order to clear the country around Italy's tomb, he must learn the enemy's plans and use his sniper skills to reach his target without dying. You don't just fight, you travel everywhere from picturesque Mediterranean towns to mountainous regions during this time. Sniper Elite V2 Remastered is a third-person tactical shooter and stealth game developed by Rebellion Developments and released in 2019. This game is an enhanced version of Sniper Elite V2. The game, which features single-player and multiplayer modes, was published by Rebellion Developments in 2019 for Microsoft Windows, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. There are many differences between V2 and Remastered, apart from the platforms on which we can play the games and the storyline. The remastered version has better graphics, textures, and lighting effects, and this is more noticeable than the original. In addition, new characters, weapons, and missions have been added to the game. Zombie Army 4 Dead War is a third-person tactical shooter and survival horror game developed by Rebellion Developments and released in 2020. What took you so long, eh? I thought we'd have to leave without you. You worry too much, Bruno. The game, which features single-player and multiplayer modes, was published by Rebellion Developments in 2020 for PlayStation 4, Microsoft Windows, Xbox One, and Stadia, in 2022 for Nintendo Switch. All over it, and they just won't stay. Although the game takes place a year after the events of the Zombie Army trilogy, after the defeat of Hitler, zombies continue to roam Europe, and we continue to fight them. Maybe that's why this pointless fight is called Dead War. Search marks. Amazing. You have the eyes of an orc. Sniper Elite VR is a first-person tactical shooter and stealth game developed by Rebellion Developments. Just add water, coat sync, and released in 2021. To cut off the enemy. The single-player game was published by Rebellion Developments in 2021 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, PlayStation VR, Steam VR, Oculus Quest, and Oculus Rift. In 1943, the fascists occupied southern Italy. As a sniper, we have to protect our homeland in the first-person mode of Sniper Elite VR, a game never seen before in the Sniper Elite series. Sniper Elite is the first realistic game where you can experience the feeling of war without actually being in it. Sniper Elite 5 is a third-person tactical shooter and stealth game developed by Rebellion Developments and released in 2022. The game, which features single-player and multiplayer modes, was published by Rebellion Developments in 2022 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series XS. Following the events of Sniper Elite 4, which takes place a year before Sniper Elite V2, this game returns to the battlefield as Carl Fairburn in 1944 France to uncover a secret Nazi project called Project Kraken. 
As in every Sniper Elite game, our goal is to eliminate enemies without compromising our cover and reach our new objective in France. It's time to move. 